love big picture themes here on Mad Money. Powerful long-term trends that can generate major multi-year runs. Take the rise of cloud computing, which is also leading to the ascendancy of the data center, where it all begins. As more and more companies transition to the cloud, where instead of paying up for local services, you store your software and information off-site and access it online, the demand for data centers, giant depositories of digital information, keeps climbing. Everything you get off the web has to be hosted somewhere, which usually means an enormous warehouse full of servers, a, a data center. Which brings me to Cyrus One, symbol Cone, C-O-N-E, for all you home gamers, a real estate investment trust that provides mission-critical data center facilities to over 900 customers. Stock's been up on a real tear here. It's up, up more than 33% year-to-date. And look, we know business is good because Cyrus One reported a strong quarter less than three weeks ago. With the company delivering a nice top and bottom line beat, management giving bullish guidance for the full year. Plus, even after its run, this stock still sports a generous 2.8% yield. Can the thing keep climbing? Let's dig deeper with Gary Watazic. He is the president and CEO of Cyrus One. Find out more about how his company's doing. We're excited. Mr. Watazic, welcome back to Mad Money. Good to see you guys. Nice, hey, nice to have hey, you. Thank you. Thank you. Back on, Jim. Okay, so every time I think that everyone has gone to the cloud, I discover that we are in inning one of the yeah. darn cloud. How is it possible everyone hasn't gone? And can they even find the space? Because you're pretty yeah. jammed up with leases. Yeah, um, well, I think it continues to roll on. We really kind of eclipsed our expectations this good, quarter. Good did uh, did really well. And I think we're still in the first or second inning of a trend that's going to go on for another, well, but uh, another decade. But how is it? I mean, what are these companies yeah. doing? They're doing on-premise. They still haven't figured out that it's yeah. cheaper to be on the cloud? You know, everyone is starting to recognize more and more that it's it's much more effective to outsource all their data right. center needs. And, you know, all your fan companies that you talk about all the time are also now starting to realize the opportunity to outsource to a company like us. Well, I think it's important because, I mean, here's a page, and I love your disclosures always great. It says, Microsoft doesn't enroll to their years. Oracle hits an all-time high. Amazon on track. Google says it's triple. Salesforce, I mean, you wouldn't use all these companies unless right. they use you. Well, we have nine of the top ten largest cloud companies in the world. We're you know, working hard to get the last one uh, in the uh, portfolio. And as, uh, as the growth in cloud goes, so goes our company as well. Well, one of the things that it's, if you ask me what has been a gating factor, it's that it's very difficult when you're full up to have 102, yeah. <laughs> get up 102 percent. What, what are you doing in order to be able to have the Sentinel acquisition? That was a sure. good one. How is that working yeah. out? Yeah, that's worked out uh, phenomenal. So we are sold out. We've been sold out basically. Sold out. We've been sold out basically since the third quarter of last year, but this quarter we're bringing on a lot of extra capacity. So even in spite of that, we've had strong bookings over the last two quarters, up 50% versus what we expected. So we're doing really well heading into 18, and so we expect that the growth is going to continue onward. One of the things I've gotten worried about is, you know, we've got all these different companies lately that actually got hurt on real earnings because of security. What kind of data security does Cyrus want to offer? Yeah, so what we do is provide physical security. So there's like six or seven different layers of protection that mm -hmm. we provide to make sure that no one can get access physically to the data. The logical security is something that our customers are responsible for. Are you worried like I am, though? Uh, oh, it's it's outside of reliability, making sure that the facility is always up and running. Right. Security is the number two concern from all of our customers. And what's number one? Uh, reliability. Reliability. It can never, it can never which, go down. Right. right. Okay, so when I look at the... Um, uh, where the people are from, this is where I thought it was very interesting. Healthcare is only 5% I mean, for vertical. I mean, theoretically, healthcare is got to have the biggest amount of data in the world. Oh, it's huge. It should be about 15% of all the, right? the data growth that's going to occur over the next five years so is going to be in healthcare. So there's so, a natural that's client right. that's yep. going to be much bigger. That's um, right. I look at, you don't even have, I, I have to believe these utility companies have to have everything in the cloud. I don't think any of them are in the cloud. No, uh, not so much. We do some work in the utility space. It's not growing as fast as we expected, but what's happening is more of their business is being outsourced directly to cloud companies. Okay. So we're getting it indirectly through the growth that we have in cloud. So our, our cloud vertical is about 26% of our revenue, which is up from practically nothing two years ago. Are there areas in the country where there's, where uh, I know Texas is unbelievable, yeah. Chicago is unbelievable. Why is New York not so strong for everybody? You know, it, it's, it's interesting. I mean, we have a really big presence here in a whole tri-state area, uh, but it's probably been our slowest growth area. What we've seen after uh, Sandy has come through is a lot of the uh, extra growth that was previously going in this area is now moving out west, down oh, to Virginia, all for, about reliability. Yeah, for but your places disaster are, recovery. Uh, I mean, I know where yours are. Yeah. I wouldn't be too yeah. concerned, but... 
No, well, it's it's basically having uh, an A leg and a B leg, and Wouldn't they're choosing more. From, yeah, they're yeah. choosing further uh, further away from you. Well, I mean, you're in one of the hottest businesses in the world, yeah. and you just delivered a great quarter again. It's always great to see you, sir. <laughs> Gary Wachowski, he's the president and CEO of Cyrus One. You know, I don't like the real estate investment trust here. I regard this as a growth company that happens to be a real estate investment trust. That's what I'm looking for. Bad money's back in the break. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.